Imagine if you could to not only see, but feel and taste in color as well. Some people can, and at the University of Waterloo, they're studying how the brain sorts out the senses for them. Global's Daryl Kanienbelt has that. Daniel Eaton is a mystery of human science. Unlike most humans who see black and white numbers as black and white, Daniel sees them in color. When you see the number three, what do you see? Um, I see, I get a general sense of, of the colored green. And letters? C is red, E is green, um, H is blue. Daniel has something called synesthesia, a condition where people can see, taste, or even smell color. Blue could mean blueberries. July is yellow. August is sort of an olive green. For Heather Mann, she sees time in color. It's sort of a ring and it goes counterclockwise and they sort of have different colors associated with it. January here would be um, sort of a wine red, sort of a pinkish red. Then you have February is um, pink. March is kind of a grayish blue. And ask her to show us where July is. It would be sort of at the at the north end of this this ring then there's food some studies have shown that synesthetes who eat a piece of chicken for example will suddenly get a prickly sensation in their other hand and there's also the issue of touch some synesthetes are known to touch metal then they taste metal at one time people who had these sensations were considered mad not anymore they have these additional perceptions that other people don't have what causes those perceptions is the work of this lab at the University of Waterloo. Their senses are a little bit more cross-wired than, than, than the rest of us. Why? For now, it's not as black and white as people would like to think. However, my brain chose to, to set these colors, I guess. Um, I really don't know why. The research will continue through the fall, raising the question, what will that taste like? In Waterloo, this is Global's Daryl Kaninenbelt reporting.